Hi everyone, it's Miss Debbie. Over 30 years have passed since our last story. Jesus has grown up. He's gotten baptized by his cousin John. He's faced the devil in the wilderness. He's chosen 12 men to follow him and he calls them disciples. And he and the disciples have traveled all over Galilee telling about God's love, healing the sick, feeding the hungry, but not only food for their tummies, food for their souls, food for their hearts, the mercy and the love and the forgiveness that comes from God. Some of the wonders that Jesus has done are called miracles. A miracle is something that can only come from God. And Jesus has performed lots and lots of miracles. The disciples saw them, but sometimes the disciples missed the signs and they weren't quite sure that Jesus really was God's son. Tonight's story is a miracle story on top of another miracle story. Jesus had just fed the 10,000 followers with two fish and five loaves of bread. But tonight he also found out that his cousin John had been killed by King Herod. He was tired and sad after all of that. So he asked the disciples to go ahead on a fishing boat and he went up the mountainside to be with his father. He just needed some time to pray and spend time alone with God. Let's get started on our story. Jesus put the disciples on the boat and watched them sail off. And then he went up into the mountainside and prayed until late evening. By the late evening, a storm had come up on the lake while the, while the disciples were still in the boat. The wind was blowing and the waves were crashing. The disciples were afraid their boat might sink. The storm raged all night. As it was beginning to get light, the disciples thought they saw something strange. They saw someone walking toward them on the water. Ah! It's a ghost! They cried. It wasn't a ghost. It was Jesus. I bet you knew who it was before I told you. Take heart, he said. It's just me. Don't be afraid. Peter wasn't a hundred percent sure that that was really Jesus. So he said, Jesus, if that's really you, tell me to come out to you. And Jesus said, come on. So Peter slowly climbed out of the boat and he was walking, he was walking. And then he remembered the storm and he was sinking and sinking. Peter was sinking, but at least he remembered who it was that asked him to walk on the water. Save me, Lord, Peter cried. And immediately, Jesus reached out and pulled Peter to safety. As soon as Jesus pulled Peter into the boat, the storm stopped and the disciples understood the signs. Peter, why did you doubt? Now the disciples knew that this truly was the Son of God. What a great story. All week we've recited our theme for Bible school. Can you say it with me? In this world, you will have trouble, but take heart, I have overcome the world. Good job. Take heart, that's an encouragement from Jesus. That means don't be afraid. The disciples were stuck out on that boat and they really were afraid. They were so afraid they didn't even recognize Jesus. But he said, don't worry, take heart, it's me. Don't be afraid. 
We've heard stories of brave and resourceful people all week. Now, maybe Peter didn't seem so brave during this story. Uh, he didn't really even recognize Jesus. He was so afraid. But then he was trying to figure it out and said, well, if you're really Jesus, why don't you just come, I'll come out there to you, right? And Jesus said, yeah, sure, come on. And then when he got out there, he thought, wait a minute, wait a minute. This isn't supposed to, uh, this storm is bad and I shouldn't be, why am I out here on the water? And then he lost heart. He started to sink. But what did Jesus do? He reached right out there and grabbed him and plopped him back on the boat to safety. We know that we're going to have troubles. Jesus knows we're going to have troubles. But now we know that Jesus will reach in and save us if we just ask. All we have to do is ask. He loves you. He loves us so much that he will always reach in and help us if we ask him. If we say, save me, Jesus. We will face trouble. And we will get scared. But take heart, everyone. Jesus is with us. See ya.